many of us understand what empathy is right many of us know that you know empathy is understanding another person that's empathy is it all is it just about understanding the other person or is there more to it right that's one question i want to take a look at and second question is like uh, many people say that i i understand that other person but how do i actually convey it to them that i understand them right if you don't convey it to the other person if the other person does not feel that he or she has been understood then empathy has not happened right you might feel that i understand that other person right but if the other person feels like you know uh, i have not been understood by this person who has been listening to me then empathy has not happened so the question that comes in is there any way you know is there any model you know of where we can say this is how empathy can be conveyed to the other person right i am going to list four steps in which empathy loop works the first step in uh, empathy is understanding the world of the other person you know the other person has come and shared something with you do you understand that world right if you understand that world then you convey your understanding of that world what do we, what do i mean when i say you do you understand that world right that person might come and say share something like let's say it's it's a it's a boy you know he comes and tells you that he is being abused by either the teacher or the um, somebody in the school or uh, you know in his home he is being abused by somebody physically sexually abused by somebody you might suddenly think that you know sexual abuse always happens for women how does it happen for young boys i don't know i i, I can't believe this thing right so essentially what has happened you are you are not believing what the counselor is saying you are not believing in the world of that counselor right we are not questioning here whether what he is saying is true or false truth and false is not a part of empathy cycle right it's only do you understand that world do you believe in that world so if you if you say that no i don't believe in this world empathy just can't happen right the first step itself empathy gets cut off because you are not believing in the facts that the other person is conveying to you right what he or she think it's a fact right there's nothing like this is the truth or this is not the truth you're not going into the debate about truth but whatever the other person feels are facts in his or her life when they come and convey it to you do you accept them as these are the facts in this person's mind that is the first part and do you convey it back to them right in words in gestures what we call as paraphrasing right in paraphrasing is you know you r- kind of repeat what they have told you to convey your understanding of them right if they say that this is what has happened in my life you have you kind of say that restate those facts in your own words and convey it back to them that whatever they are talking to you you have understood them right that's the first step you know understanding the world of the counselee right so whatever the counselee comes and tells you do you understand them do you take them as facts because at that moment if you say that this counselee is lying this counselee is exaggerating or this person is uh, not telling the truth empathy does not happen at that point itself right it gets cut off right in the first step so the most first important step is understanding the world of the other person who's coming and sharing things with you and believing it at that point of time right that is the first step right believing it doesn't mean that you think that is true that's not the point here do i believe that this person thinks it's true right that is the first step understanding the world of the counselee then the second step understanding the feelings of the counsel the other person what do we mean by understanding the feelings a person can go through different emotions when they are relating to something right let let me let me give you an example suppose somebody comes and says that you know uh, she lost somebody to her uh, 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 death you know let's say she comes and tells you that i lost my husband he died uh, for for some reason he died and as you are exploring you find that she is having an emotion of uh, guilt you will like why should she feel guilty about it or she is feeling angry and you are saying you are thinking why is she angry that her husband has died you know he is dead and gone and but she is feeling anger against him that he died he left her alone and went so if you are questioning that if you are questioning that this person cannot feel anger when her husband dies or this person cannot feel guilty when her husband dies or if you are thinking that this person cannot feel relieved you know sometimes counselors or people come and share and when they talk about it you feel that this person is feeling relieved that the somebody has passed away and if you are questioning those feelings empathy cannot happen right so second step in the empathy thing is understanding the feelings of the other person you know do you understand what are the emotions that they are going through and do you believe that yes they are going through these emotions if you are questioning these emotions if you are thinking of why is this person feeling this you are not going to be empathetic because you are doubting that emotion itself right so second 
step in the empathy loop is to understand the feelings of the other person right the third step the third step is being non judgmental about whatever the counselee has told you right whatever the other person has come and shared with you are you judging them in any way if you are judging them in some ways you are not going to be empathetic at all you have to be completely non judgmental about whatever they have shared with you you know you, you cannot when we say judgmental we are saying right and wrong right oh how can this person talk like this how can this person feel like this you know whatever they are saying is nonsense they are exaggerating they are making a mountain out of the mole here whatever if that judgment comes into you then empathy is not possible right and when we talk of being non judgmental it's important to understand that non judgmental is not only about what the other person has shared with you it's also about being non judgmental about everybody they have talked about you know they can talk about the people in their life in any negative manner right but we cannot say the same negative things about the other people they have talked about example suppose somebody comes and shares something about her daughter she says you know my daughter is like this she is really going haywire i i don't understand you know she is coming and saying negative things about her daughter she is even using abusive words about her daughter you cannot use the same abusive words back to to label the daughter right you need to be neutral you need to be non judgmental you that person that person who is talking to you can say anything that they want to you but you cannot say the same thing you cannot contribute to that and saying oh she is she is really a bitch or she is really a bad girl you know you cannot do that because that is her daughter she can talk anything about her daughter to you but you as an outsider cannot talk like that about her daughter her husband her parents her friends whomever they are talking about so being non judgmental means being non judgmental about everything that they have talked about including the people that they are talked about we just hear them out that is the third step in the empathy loop if you if you are not being non judgmental you cannot empathize with them then we move on to the fourth and final step in the empathy loop conveying your understanding back to them you know it's important that this step is very clearly understood because without this step the empathy loop remains incomplete you have understood the world you understood the feelings you have been non judgmental now are you able to convey it back to them if you are not able to convey it back to them where is empathy happening if that other person feels like this person heard me out but i don't know whether she understood me or not i don't know whether he believed me or not if they go back with the feeling that this person has not understood me then where is empathy you might think that hey, i understood the world i understood the feelings yes she has gone through these kind of emotions and i have been completely non judgmental but if you not conveyed it back to them so the fourth step is conveying it back to that person that you have understood that world you understood that feelings so this step this is the communication cycle right you, it it is the step where it goes back from you to them until now they have been talking and telling you various things you convey it back to them right that that yes this is what you have told me right you paraphrase whatever they have told you about the facts then you convey the feelings back to them you are feeling like this or you feeling you are feeling angry about this i can understand that you are feeling upset about this you convey that feeling back to them so this communication thing if it doesn't happen through words through gestures that you have understood what they have been talk to you about then empathy doesn't happen so empathy is a four steps loop right if you complete all these four steps understand the world understand the feelings be non judgmental and then convey it back to them that you have understood that that's when the empathy loop is completed and that's when the person will uh, go back from you feeling that yes this person has understood me that's empathy loop